Hey, thanks for stopping by Studio Tyson's YouTube channel. My name is Paul Tyson, and I appreciate you guys taking a look at what I've got to say here. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the ERT EGLP 511. And uh, the 511 is the same guitar as the 512. The main difference being that the 512 has locking tuners, the 511 does not. Other than that, I believe the feature set is identical. And uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about those features. And we're going to plug the guitar in, see what it sounds like amplified, and uh, get into the details of this model. So if you're interested, uh, make sure to stay tuned. And please subscribe if you like what you see. Hey, thanks a lot, and let's rock. So let's talk about some of the feature highlights of the EGLP 511 and 512. Uh, <clears throat> well, for starters, you've got a beautiful looking uh, Les Paul body, <laughs> which is African mahogany, according to uh, everything I'm reading, quilted maple top. Uh, we've got uh, some real nice hardware on this. It's just, you know, it's a standard tunematic type bridge, but it's a very, you know, very good looking hardware on this doesn't look cheap seem cheap uh you got your kind of classic les paul i guess they call these the antique style knobs on this particular model they're kind of a caramelized plastic uh you got your cream colored pick guard here cream colored pickup covers your chrome uh pickups these are dual humbuckers of course I believe the humbuckers are made in uh, America or possibly Korea. And I think the company is called Artec. Um, <clears throat> you've got the standard Les Paul three-way switch right there. Feels solid. You've got uh, <clears throat> 22 stainless steel frets or at least that's how they're referred to in the literature and on the website. They're referred to as stainless steel. I don't have any reason to doubt that they are, although I've heard some people comment that stainless steel may actually be an alloy that's uh, comprised of other metals, very hard metals, uh, to make a, a very hard uh, compound alloy. <laughs> Got some nice curve, you know, real nice soft edge on the back. You got your cream colored binding here on the front. It's like an aged cream binding. You've got your Gibson style uh, trapezoid inlays. You've got a uh, synthetic nut here at this end. And you got some uh, decent amount of tilt there going back on the headstock and some decent decent tuning hardware here as well. Uh, I've already played around with these quite a bit. These guitars stay in tune uh, even when you're banging on them.
has a reputation as uh, including real high quality tuners on their guitars and this is no exception. Same thing as the Stratocasters and the Telecaster models from ERT, which is to say that once you tune this guitar up and you've you know stretched the strings and done all the typical things that need to be done once you put on a new set of strings, uh, it feels really good and it seems to stay in tune really well. So uh, I am fully confident that uh, the tuning hardware supplied with these guitars does not need to be upgraded. Um, if you want to go and spend the money, you can do that, but you're wasting your money. You do not need to upgrade the hardware. I've also, uh, should say that I've recently brought a couple of these Ert Les Paul guitars to a luthier friend of mine, and he took a look at these and within uh, five minutes, within the span of five minutes of looking at it and playing it, he turned to me and said, unbelievable, unbelievable value. Uh, he, it really, I think, surprised him to see the kind of quality uh, that's coming out of China right now. Just really excellent quality. Neck on this guitar is a kind of a standard Les Paul neck, maybe a little bit thinner. Not sure if they call that the 50s or the 60s style neck, but it's very, very comfortable to play. You know, if you're in the market for a Les Paul and you don't feel like going the Epiphone route and you don't feel like going the Gibson route, uh, maybe check this out. This is a good way to go. It's just the workmanship on these looks just great. I'll try to show some close-up photos so that you can see for yourself, but they look, they look really good. So happy to report more good findings on the ERT brand. We are certainly in an unprecedented time when it comes to electric guitars. There's never been a time that I can remember when you've been able to get so much quality for such a low price. Uh, it's just unreal. Um, I do not work for Ert. Uh, just let's clarify that right away. I do not work for Ert. Um, I do sell Ert guitars because I've been so impressed with the quality that I decided to buy some and I do sell them.
hope you enjoyed my review of the ERT EGLP 511. If you uh, like what you saw, I would ask that you please subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much for watching again. I hope you found it valuable information or at the very least useful information. Uh, I'm going to give another double thumbs up to Ert for cranking out excellent quality guitars at rock bottom prices. It's just going to be really hard to compete with this company uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, if you're thinking about getting one, I would tell you to just go right ahead and do it. I wouldn't even hesitate one second. Just do it. You will be happy with what you get. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, until we meet again, keep on rocking.